I pressed the wrong button there. We are live. <laughs> My head's a little bit screwy today. Um, feeling a bit under the weather. But yes, we are live with the Orgoth box. Uh, I got permission to open it on stream. Um, so we can actually have a look at it. So far we're two from two on no broken parts in any of the boxes. Um, so hopefully we go three from three. If not, we'll probably try and fix some stuff right now. Um, the guy who owns this box, he hasn't had a lot of experience with model stuff yet. So if I can you know, fix it up and make the stuff a little easier for him, I'll do it live. And it'll be a good demonstration of how to fix it if it's going to be easy enough to fix. So, might as well not wait too much. I don't even remember if I set up all the stream settings properly. I'm hoping the audio is good. Uh, the audio looks like it's good on my end. <laughs> We're not getting any audio sources from the wrong side. So, as per usual, there is the warning in the bottom of the box. Blah, 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 blah. Contains resin. Uh, as I've mentioned before, we have separate containers for the magnets. All the magnet containers, from what I can tell, are exactly the same. They didn't worry about um, the fact that some boxes will have only big jacks. Um, they just put the same magnets in there, so you can end up with some spares. In my case, for the uh, Cena box, which I've put together and haven't primed yet, I will get onto that over the next few days. I will prime it and probably try and start recording a uh, painting video for it. Whether I actually get the painting video edited and finished, that'll be a um, entirely different question. <laughs> so we've only got three bags for this one. There's no separate bag for weapons. We have the Hurukhsk, the Thousand Wraths. Yes, I butchered that. No, I don't particularly care. The Tyrant, which I believe is the heavy, and the Jackal, which is the light. So, a little bit different to what we've done last time. We're going to start with the uh, caster. Ooh, he's a big boy. This is what I get. I haven't paid much attention to the Orgoth. I've been given some information, but I haven't really cared too much. He a big boy. Uh, I'm guessing the sword goes in the other hand, and this is supposed to join on here somewhere. How is that supposed to join on? On there, maybe? I don't know. Um, I do see, where is it, so just a little gate there, a little, sorry, support, so just quickly and gently knock that off, or is that meant to be a backpack for him? That makes a lot more sense, that's a backpack. Why didn't I think of that? All Warcasters have some sort of backpack. I told you, my head's screwy today. So backpack on there, head on top. And again, it's a really nice model. Uh, detail's really good. I really like the design of the armor. It's just enough that, you know, the armor's detailed without going completely overboard and killing any passion anyone's going to have for actually trying to paint it. Uh, just in there, there's a little spot that hasn't been cleaned properly. A couple little support spots there that I can knock off. A little bit of filing, it'll be fine. Another one there. Some little bits on the back, but it'll be fine. The, um... I'm guessing that's fur. That's really nicely detailed. It'll take a wash really well. 
which is going to be good because that's what we're going to have to that, that's, that's a method I'm going to be trying to get him to do when he paints them because I'm going to teach him to paint them as we go through sword much like the Signar swords it's a really badass looking sword completely ineffective in most combat but badass it's it's probably as sharp as the model when you think about it it's, it's going to basically be a club <laughs> it's not cutting anything it's just going to beat the skull in We'll actually put him straight back in the bag, that way he doesn't end up getting any parts lost or damaged. Last thing I want when I'm handling someone else's stuff is to... Uh, so lose or damage anything. Sorry, something's messing up on me. Go for the uh, tyrant next, and leave the jackal for last. I will actually um, stick that back on there, just so we've got it labelled. Uh. So because. This is going to be someone's. Well, it's only, only going to be the second time they've ever built models, really. So I'm going to try and leave as much for them to do as I can. That way, I can teach them as we go. Couple of little supports in there. Should be able to just knock out. Good definition on the magnet marks, magnet insert marks. One issue I do have with Privateer Press, and it's a pet peeve, the barrels are never quite deep enough. And I don't drill my barrels normally, but when you've got a big cannon like this, well, a relatively big cannon like this, I want to drill it. <laughs> I'm not going to drill this because it's not mine. If the guy who owns it decides to drill it, that's up to him. Um, yeah, a couple little spots around here where you can just see the support marks where they've been connected. Nothing big, no big issues. I'm not seeing like in here was a really bad spot on the Kador stuff for uh, still being shiny and needing to be clean. Nothing like that here. A couple little spots that. Probably still give it, a, give it a clean with some um, soapy water. Maybe some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, legs. <clears throat> yeah, this, before I worry about legs, because that's the legs. Where's the crutch? We got heads. I'm guessing that's the crutch actually. So that's gonna slot in there, and then we'll have the legs on each side. You can kind of see how that goes. They've got a funky leg design. Uh, someone mentioned in one of the chats today, it kind of looks like War Machine starting to come out of the Steam Age. Like, the technology seems to have advanced pretty far for what it was. I have no idea what that's supposed to be part of. Maybe part of the chains and stuff? I don't know, we're gonna have a look at, when we build stuff, we're gonna look at instructions. There are instructions up on the Privateer Press website. 
Oh, maybe, maybe that's supposed to go in there. And that's supposed to go on the end. That kind of makes sense. And there is some uh, little support stuff, and that's actually going to break off with a fingernail. Again, that's just something you get with um, any 3D printed resin. This in the US first. And it's going to be a tight fit. So I'm guessing the weapon's supposed to go like something like that. Like an axe on a chain. Cool concept, but impractical. And that's fine. It's a fucking game. Practicality doesn't matter for shit. The shield cannon. Again, we've seen quite a few of these. This one's quite nice. It doesn't have the nice detail in the middle that I liked off the Signar shields, but again, it's a different faction, it's fine. Is that a fucking harpoon? I remember Crix had a harpoon that they'd shoot you and drag you towards them, like fucking Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I kind of hope that's not the case with this one. I don't want to face harpoons. Chainsword. Anyone who plays 40k is going to recognise that as a chainsword. <laughs> Anyone who's seen 40k is going to recognise that as a chainsword. Some sort of Gatling gun. Nice. I'm not even going to try and hazard a guess of what the hell this is supposed to be. It looks like some sort of a gun. It has some, has some detailing that it looks like a gun. Could easy, easily be a set of crab claws. Uh, well, that's a set of crab claws. That's gonna get you good. Now, I've said most of this before, but the quality is really good. There is a couple of little details where yes, you know, there's supports and stuff like that. It's fine. As long as you know what you're getting, you're going to be fine. Whoop. The fact that the heads go on top of these jacks is quite nice. The heads are quite large, so it's going to be easier to tell each one apart. Well, those two are going to be the closest to each other, as far as looks go. But that big mohawk is going to give away which one's which. So again, it's quite a nice jack. Um, if I can get some painting videos done for this stuff, I will. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be the one painting this. I'm going to teach someone to paint it. They're going to paint it themselves, whether they like it or not. They're chained to the fucking table. You're not allowed to leave until at least everything's base coated. I'll put the sticker back on there. And then last up, we have the Jackal. Yeah. I know you can fucking hear me. That's the fucking point. <laughs> Demonic Knight's the one that owns these. <laughs> Did you actually see the Warcaster? Or do I have to drag that back out? Uh, try and sort out parts here. We have legs. We're gonna need a crotch piece. Which is gonna probably look something like that. So we're going to have that there. It has a nice little mechanical tail looking thing on it. That is not the snuggest joint in the world, but we're going to have to see. We'll fix that up. That'll be easy enough. <laughs> uh, leg. So that'll give you 
start of an idea of how it's going to go. Head is a little bit more forward on this one, which is going to be a nice way to differentiate it from the other jack. Uh, this one has big ass shoulder pads. Nice. And they actually friction fit pretty well. I don't know if I put them on the right side, but they look the same. And heads, yeah, a bit more forward. Joints look pretty good. Always a fan of a spear, and that's a nice looking spear. I have no idea what the hell this is supposed to go with. Either of these. Um, and just in here. Here you can see there's some stuff that's a little bit glossy. And it could be that the resin's already cured and it's just a bit shiny there, but we'll wash up with some isoprep alcohol and it'll be fine. If I was brave enough, I'd put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, but isoprep alcohol and ultrasonic cleaners can end up being rather bad because ultrasonic cleaners will keep heating up. And if it reaches the flash point of the alcohol, you're in a lot of trouble. Shield really matches the other shield. Um, I've already put that one away. Okay. Gives a nice design. You've got some, add some separate colors in here to break it up. It'll look good. Okay, that one's a gun. Twin barreled, heavy gun of some sort. Once we get, um, I think in the next week or so, we're due to get all the stats. So after everything's assembled, we might actually be able to go through and talk about all of the weapon options for each thing as well. Grabby claw, not quite as good as the crab claw off the other one, but still grabby claw. Tell if that's broken or not. I'm guessing, yeah, that's our one broken part, I think. We'll have a proper look at uh, how that's supposed to go. It, it looks like that's how it's supposed to go. Um, that's going to involve a pinning job, and I am not the one who does pinning. Pinning is Shane. So I will get his expertise around here and we will sort that out. I am terribly bad with it. He has pinned more stuff than I will ever pin. Nice looking long range cannon. No big marks on it. Blade doesn't look big enough to really get stabby. leg and that looks kind of like a flamethrower flamethrowers are never not fun they have changed how spray weapons work for mark 4 but they still look like they're going to be a really good weapon I'm guessing that head goes kind of that way maybe that way yeah that way but these heads aren't quite as don't have quite as pronounced a difference as the other ones. Those two are going to be... Whoop. These two are going to be really annoying to tell apart from a distance. Um, we'll come up with some interesting ways to try and make it work. Because uh, when we start filming some Mark IV battle reports, I want to be able to... want people to be able to see through the camera we're using that option. And I will try and do up some... Um, stuff as well, where we have little graphics to let people know which option is what. Kind of really like that helmet. Uh, 
that, that's a nice head option. So yeah, just a quick one today. Well, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, just so we can get it out there. Um, I will be talking to people and trying to organize when we can get stuff put together. I have to buy a uh, proper UV torch tomorrow. So I'm gonna go over to one of the electronics shops and buy that. And I'll see when we can get people together to try and clean up. Oh, hang on, I've got the, I've got the bases in for that and the ore caster. I'll just put them together. Um, get everything cleaned up, and then we can start looking at painting and what color schemes we're gonna do. I have an idea for the signal that I kind of want to do like a box art sort of thing. But like, those sort of colors, but a little bit different, just so that it's it's mine. Um, but yeah. Other than that, that's all I think for today. I can't think of anything else, I can't think of much at all. Have a good one guys. <laughs>